What's going on everybody? It's Cody here from Tidewee and today we're going to talk about three simple steps to setting up your Tidewee ground blind or any ground blind for that matter in the woods. So if you just picked up one of Tidewee's new ground blinds and you need a little help or some advice when you're out in the woods setting up your ground blind, getting it in a successful spot to deer hunt or maybe even turkey hunt this season, this video is definitely going to be for you. But before we get started, be sure to go down and hit that subscribe button down below. That way you can stay up to date to all of the products that we're going to be releasing here at Tidewee. And you can also stay up to date for any giveaways, review videos, um, or just overall hunting videos that we'll be posting here on our channel. So the first tip that I want to talk about today is timing. Timing is everything when it really comes down to deer hunting. Obviously we know that you can spook deer very easily by uh, making their environment a little different than it was yesterday. So you can't expect to come out here, place a blind, and then shoot a deer out of it tomorrow. Especially if you're on a heavily used trail, any type of food source, um, or just anything that's drawing deer to the area that you're going to be hunting. The last thing you want to do is place this in plain sight of the deer or animals that you're going to be trying to hunt and then go out there the next morning hoping to see that animal. So be sure when you're wanting to hunt out of a ground blind, make sure that you're purchasing that ground blind just a couple weeks or maybe even up to a month early so you can get that thing out there, get it set up, and let the deer get used to that ground blind before you go and hunt. Now that you have your timing down, my next tip actually goes hand in hand with timing, and that is placement. You want to be sure that you're placing this blind in an inconspicuous area um, that is going to be out of the line of sight of most of the animals that are coming through your area. Now this can sometimes be a little difficult, obviously, because you're going to be wanting to place this blind next to very heavily used trails, maybe a food source or something like that that we talked about earlier, is where you're going to want to have this blind set up. You're going to want to be within shooting distance of those topics. So placing your blind in the the correct area um, that also has all of those key points involved can be a little challenging. The key to this is really figuring out where those deer are coming from. Pattern those deer maybe with a trail camera um, or maybe even just a mock sit just to figure out what the deer are doing through that property. Once you get that figured out, try setting the blind away from the approach point of those deer. Hide it back into some trees or maybe some thicker cover. Just kind of use the landscape to your advantage when placing that deer blind. A few more things to consider when placing the blind in the woods is wind direction. Know what the average wind direction is during the time of the year where you're going to be hunting. Place the blind in a spot that is going to be in your favor when it comes to wind direction. Whether that's wind blowing your scent off into an open field or the wind blowing your scent into the area where the deer are not going to be approaching from. The last thing you want to do is set your blind up, hunt out of it, and have the wind blowing directly into bedding areas, uh, feeding areas, or even areas where the deer are going to be approaching you from. The more you do your homework and the more you kind of set yourself up for success, the better chances you are going to have of not spooking a deer. Another thing is to make sure the ground beneath the blind is completely cleared out. What I mean by that is there's a lot of dead leaves on the ground, especially right now, even though it's midsummer, um, there's leaves on the ground from last year. These leaves can cause a lot of noise and ruckus when you're going into the woods. So try to clear all of that out of the blind along with um, any other sticks or anything that could creak in there um, while you're moving around, maybe trying to get a shot that could possibly spook a deer. By following all of those placement tips, you'll definitely be on the right path of having a successful fall hunt. My final tip, again, kind of goes hand in hand with the placement, what we talked about earlier, but is cover. You want to try and place your blind in the most possible cover that you can find in the woods, uh, the field edge wherever you're going to be placing that blind the more cover you have the less chance you have of the deer actually seeing the blind the best thing to do for this type of scenario um, is use the surroundings to your advantage uh, if there's a lot of down trees maybe a lot of dead leaves deadfall that you can use to kind of stack up in front of your blind um, use the brush in loops that the blind actually has on the blind itself um, any way that you can possibly blend this blind in with the surroundings is just going to make it that much easier to kill a deer from the ground sometimes I like to be able to place this blind back into a thicket, uh, maybe some really heavy brush, some pine trees um, that I can really use to cover up all sides of the blind. It may make it a little tricky to get inside of the blind. I know by doing that, I'm giving myself that much better of a chance um, to not be seen when it comes down to crunch time. Another thing you can do that will help is just look at the camouflage design that is coming on the blind itself. You can notice this veil camouflage pattern that we have on our Tideweave blind blends in with the surrounding trees during this midsummer season and because of that it's just going to be a little bit easier to hide this blind um, considering the backdrop and vegetation that we have going on in the woods here. 
By following all of these tips, ground blind hunting will definitely be a little more enjoyable for you, and you might even find yourself having more success out in the woods. Once again, my name is Cody. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning into this video. If you guys are looking to get yourselves into a Tidewee see-through blind, these blinds are absolutely awesome. They've been very, very popular and a big hit on the market lately. They do provide three panels or otherwise 270 degrees of see-through mesh um, that make this blind the ultimate hunting experience. So if you're looking to amp up your turkey hunt, or again, maybe even your deer hunts, definitely head on over to www.tidewe or truewildlife.com and pick up yourself one of these awesome Tidewe hunting blinds today. All of us here from Tidewe hope that you have a great hunting season and we'll catch you guys on the next video.